Custom closes gates to stop for your government from returning 1,800 bags of rice. The rift between the Nigeria Customs Service and Oyo State Government over 1,800 bags of rice was heightened on Wednesday, 29th April 2020, as the Nigeria Customs Service Oyo and Oshun Command closed gates and refused the Oyo State Government access into its Ibadan premises to return the bags of rice. According to the Nigerian Tribune, the Oyo State Commissioner for Agriculture and Rural Development, Mr. Jacob Ojemuwa, said the state had earlier written a letter to Customs Service declaring its intention to return the infested rice. While expressing his shock at the custom barring the trucks from being driven in, Ojemuwa said the State Executive Council would determine the next step to take on the matter. For some hours, Tribune Online saw that the trucks of rice remained outside while the driver and loader said they awaited further directive from the state. He pointed out that the customs service had not officially received the rice from the Oyo state government, adding that the state government left the rice outside at their own risk. There is no official letter asking us to receive the rice. We, when we gave out the rice, we had an official letter directing us from the headquarters. The alleged spout rice, which had been rejected by Oyo State Government, has erupted discussion on various social media. But this rejection is flaming the inferno. Can we call this a power tussle? Or is it the Oyo Government taking all these steps because of political differences in party with the federal government and the custom refuser to accept the alleged infested rice can we say it's also political what's your opinion and what is your take on this issue hmm. so guys uh, i don't know uh, the policies that is being played there but all we know is, is that the rice is not just good for consumption because even the custom has said it, they confirmed it before now. And there is no way and there's no way they will want to judge this matter, irrespective of how they want to look at it. You know that these people they know how they use they do things, but what we know and what people have been complaining before now. In normally, if it is in a, a normal in a sane environment, the federal government should be sued. Even the, the president should be sued because he was the one that directed that the rights should be given to the people. And we know that even without even telling anybody, without seeing those things that are changing colors. And again, to remind us again, the uh the uh, Buaris minister, minister for humanitarian and what have you, you know that's a that's a, a portfolio is a long one the name of his uh, portfolio is a long one but she agreed that for the fact that the rice you know they have a, a different colors they have changed color does not mean that it is not good for consumption at least they accepted that and meanwhile apc or your two said oh for the fact that some rice some part of the rice are bad that doesn't mean that the whole rice is bad that or your state is just trying to play politics and how can you tell us even when the custom dg said it right from beginning it is in the public domain so why are we covering things why would they be giving people such things, something that you rejected from the beginning and it has been in your place for how many, in your custody for how long and now you are bringing it to the people? What are we talking about? It's just that uh, things are not just normal in this country. Things are not just normal because in a sane environment, because the president is always using that word, in a sane environment, this kind of a thing cannot be happening. That we even saw it, they even ad admitted that this rice, yes, they know it's bad, but, but not everything. Now they are trying to play to the gallery that they have not, uh, they didn't receive letter. The custom base in Ibadan, they didn't receive letter to, to have uh, collected the rice. Of course, I don't think, I think the, the best thing for for the your government to do, in my opinion, is just for them, you know, let them take a picture, take video and go and dump it somewhere or go and burn it or go and throw it into the lagoon. Whichever way, let Nigerians know that yes, we have returned it, and since they don't want to collect it or they want to get it back, then they go and throw it away instead of giving it to their people. How can you tell us that should, people should eat it like that? How can they say so? The ones that are playing politics, let them continue playing politics with people's lives. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the people themselves do not even care. They do not care because somebody should have even sued the federal government, whosoever that is involved or whosoever that is in charge or that gave the order should be sued. What are we talking about? That they are playing politics. Nobody is playing politics. If they want to play politics, that should be at the background. We don't know. But what we are presented with shows that this rice is not good. Even without being told, you don't, and we don't even need a soothsayer to tell us 
this kind of a thing. Something that they rejected, that they even talked about. Unless they are telling us, uh, maybe they just imported this rice recently. But if it is the same rice that they seized from small glass and they stored in their uh, warehouse and they are giving us, no, it's, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Like this country, even the masses themselves, they'll just say, I beg you, wait, I beg just come out the one way, no, you're good. May I just cook the one way, fine. Ha! Ah! God will help us in this country. Of course, so because when you are when you are being pushed to the wall, what do you want to say? The government is supposed to be protecting you because when it comes to issues that say uh, uh, they maybe they are having a an edge or maybe they are doing little thing, oh, they will not tell you. Oh, the responsibility, uh, the duty of a government or responsible government is for you them to protect lives and properties. The the ones that are supposed to protect your lives and your and property, they are not there. And at the end of the day, who do you turn to? Even your fellow citizens, they will tell you, I beg, what are you talking about? I beg, forget it. Now, let you day there. Aha. This country, eh? they will just say, well, your own is even too much. Save. Your own is too much. Now, let you day here. This and this and that. I beg, lock up. Forget. And at the end of the day, who do you turn to? Is it not God? You turn to God. You turn to God. And that's why everything, virtually everything, even our responsibilities, we leave it for God to do. And that's why most of the time, God does not even answer prayer because He know, He knows that this kind of thing does not need prayer. He has already given us brain to use us to use our brain so that we will not be disturbing Him every time. We are not zombies now. We are not animals. He has given us brain so that to, for us to be able to take decisions. And that's why He said the power of life and whatever. You know, it's in our hands. Whichever way you want to, if you want to go the other way, fine. If you want to go this other way, fine. But we advise you to go the right way. We don't force you because he has given you that authority. He's given us that authority to be able to think. But at the end of the day, because we are handicapped in many ways, we just have to say, mm, those who that are those that are saddled with the responsibility of protecting lives and property, see what they are doing. You just say, go back to God, say, God, what do we do in this kind of a thing? So any little thing, you know. Uh, will say God have your way. So let's hear what uh, people are saying concerning this because it's they they are the one in my opinion they are the one playing politics in this kind of a thing. Just collect it since they don't they don't want it and you believe that the rice is okay. Collect it from them and give it to other people those who want it. I think that would have been the best thing if the government itself is sincere or the custom is sincere of the rice they gave. Let them collect it and give it to other people and say please so you should come and see the rice that these people are rejecting. Is this one not good? Let them collect it and dash it to other people. But as far as a or your government is concerned, that rice is not good. They themselves they accepted the fact that yes, these rice are not good. Someone says engineer Shayimaki the best governor dropped their rice and truck for the gate Ibadan Vibadon or your state uh state uh, okay or your state could in Baje I mean God bless you. Uh, this one say, God bless you, our governor. Amen. Ahmed Ali, the goatee custom DG, should take his poisonous rice and share to his family and state animals in power. So say, this is very funny. Uh, then offload it. If they don't want to collect it, then offload it for them outside there and go. <laughs> uh, they should eat it with their families. Why giving expired rice to people? Is that not poison? In fact, the giver should be sued to court for intended homicide. Exactly. Exactly. Someone says, why the rejection, please? Uh, where is this one? Where is this one for come? Don't say, eat it alone. Help me ask them why the rejection. Okay, they want to, they want to reject uh, for collecting it. APC political intolerance for you. That is APC intolerance political for you. Okay, the driver should offload it in the bush if they refuse to collect it. If truly you don't know it's spoiled, it's a spoiled rice, why don't you collect it back? So deliberately you send the spoiled rice out. Hmm, which official letter to collect spoiled rice again? You people are trying to place policies with our life again. Federal government, thunder will soon strike you. The customs declare these six bags of rice as poisonous and not fit for human consumption. Two years ago, so why distributing poisonous rice to Nigerians by this critical period? APC leaders and members of this government, whether elected or appointed, will die painful. <laughs> oh my goodness. And someone says here that a spoiled rice or expired rice ceased so many years back by the Nigerian customs. I'm even talking, I was even talking about six months or what have you. It's not even because it's not even October. This rice, they've seized it. They've been seizing this rice. They told us that hey, it's not good. But why not? Like I said, just collect it. If they don't want to collect it, just go and throw them, throw them inside lagoon or whichever way. Or like some people have suggested, drop it at their gate there. Do they still need a letter for them to get this uh, rice back? 
If they know it's good, collect it and give it to people who really want it. So guys, what do you think? Let us hear your own opinion on this matter. Thank you.